Let's talk about the anticipated battle happened between the newly crowned Yonko, Monkey D. Luffy, and Admiral Kazaru in Egghead Island. Let's find out who will emerge as victorious in this match. According to Saint Saturn, who is currently in Egghead Island, they have to protect three things. First is the safety of York. Second, the punk records, which constitute a Vegapunk's brain. And the last one is the power plant needed to produce the Mother Flame. Aside from this three, everything can be destroyed. Saint Saturn and Kizaru were talking about the arrogance of Luffy in deceiving them and making them believe that he has control of the whole situation. The Frontier Dome is a defense system that utilizes lasers, am I right? Can't you go through it since you're a light human? Saint Saturn said. Then Kizaru responded that it's possible, but he's hesitant to go since the one who is guarding the Vegapunk station is his friend, Sentomaru. Saturn said that better ignore him, but Kizaru said he can't ignore the man who is determined to fight, and ignoring him is against his ideals. Furthermore, Kizaru explains that if they start to assault Sentomaru, he will just order the Mecha Sea Beast weapons and the 50 pacifistas to sink their fleet, which may cause to enormous casualty. Saint Saturn scratches his head with this situation. What about the power plant? Do we know its location? He asked. Then Kizaru informed him that Rob Lucci had already sent the necessary information they needed in order to start their assault. On the next scene, we saw the marine fleets are now preparing for an assault, including all the vice admirals. Then we saw Luffy and his group who are currently on the move to get their ship. Then all of a sudden, Kizaru uses his devil fruit power to infiltrate the island. He easily passed the Mecha robot's sea weapon. Then Sentomaru senses the arrival of Kizaru, and he said Ojiki, meaning uncle. This is what he used to call Kizaru. He then ordered all the pacifista to obliterate the enemies. Then the battle between Kizaru and Sentomaru starts. Prepare yourself, Sentomaru, Kizaru said. Then Sentomaru responded that his defense is the toughest in the world. Kizaru then kicks Sentomaru, while Sentomaru blocking it with his bare hand. Luffy and the others saw the lighting coming from that area. Then Luffy said, hey, someone very strong is coming. We saw Luffy felt the arrival of Kizaru on the island. As Kizaru started his incursion, the other marines are now preparing also their assault and now battling with the Mecha beast at the coast. Usopp was watching the battle between these two groups. But Vegapunk said that Sentomaru is already guarding the island with the 50 pacifistas and his defenses is almost impenetrable. Then Usopp and Nami saw Admiral Kizaru on the screen. Just like what Stussy said, the Marines send an Admiral to the island. Vegapunk said that he feels sorry for Sentomaru for sending him to face Kizaru, and he'll understand if Sentomaru chooses to flee. Then we switch to the continuation of the battle between Sentomaru and Kizaru. Kizaru attacks. Sentomaru continuously and even ordering him to surrender. But Sentomaru responded that he can't and he gave his word to Straw Hat Luffy. And Kizaru questioned him, how come he became friends with the pirates? Sentomaru then grabbed his battle axe and jumped towards Kizaru and responded that he owe his life to Vegapunk and he doesn't care whose side he is as long as Vegapunk escape. Then a flashback shown on how Vegapunk Kizaru and Sentomaru met. In a certain area, we saw young Sentomaru beating a group of bears. Vegapunk and Aokiji were supposed to deal with those bears. But they were shocked to see that a kid Sentomaru bait those bears. Then Dr. Vegapunk took Sentomaru as his bodyguard, since Sentomaru is looking for a job. We saw also some flashback where Sentomaru asked Kizaru to teach him on how to protect Dr. Vegapunk. Then we shift back to the battle of off Sentomaru and Kizaru. Sentomaru uses his Ashigara palm against Kizaru, but Kizaru easily defended it and uses a laser beam towards Sentomaru. 
we saw a huge explosion, and Sentomaru was hit by it and was defeated. Kizaru took the authority chip from Sentomaru and orders the Pacificus to protect the naval fleet and attacks the weaponized sea beast. With this, the Pacificus are starting to attack the sea beast and end up destroying them. Sentomaru's finished! Usopp exclaim as we see the unconscious body of Sentomaru lying on the ground. Vegapunk was in panic now, and still they haven't cracked the code yet to open the barrier, and Vegapunk said that Kizaru might be able to pass at the laser barrier since he is made of light. Usopp was shocked upon hearing this and remembers what happened to Sabaody Park, where they were almost wiped out by Kizaru back then. Then we saw Kizaru uses his devil fruit power and flies towards the barrier. Then a siren was activated. Luffy and others heard the sirens. Lilith was shocked. The emergency siren should not be working since the barrier is still active. Then suddenly Kizaru reaches and passes through the barrier. The power station, punk records, and York. These are the three important things need to be protected and Kazaru said that it might be good also if he can add some old friends. He might talking about Vegapunk and Sentomaru, probably. Dr. Vegapunk's elimination is our top priority, Kizaru said. Then at last, Kizaru and Luffy met. Luffy in his normal form attacks Kizaru immediately. I see that you're as cheeky as ever, Kizaru said, and Luffy responded, We're a hundred times stronger than we were two years ago. Kizaru! Then, Luffy transformed to its gear fourth form and continues his attacks. Kizaru said that it clearly shows that Luffy really took down Kaido and asked Luffy why he is risking his life a pirate to protect Dr. Vegapunk. And Luffy returned the question to Kizaru, why he wants to kill Vegapunk. Then Kizaru suddenly uses his power and flew up. It's not like I want to kill him. I've known Vegapunk for a long time, you know. Now please, don't get in the way. After all, speed is power. Kizaru uses his power. He then transforms into al Asr light, and at a very high speed, he launches itself to Luffy and kicks him at the face. Luffy was hit by lightning speed, kicks and was blown far away and crashing to Veg Panook, Force One and ended up destroying it. Luffy was flown towards the barrier. Then suddenly the Vegapunk Force One exploded. Lilith said it was their dream robot. Then Kizaru arrive and shows his face to Frankie, Bonnie and Lilith. Kizaru said that Bonnie got a bit taller and telling that kids these dare growing so fast. Then Kizaru said that he was ordered to kill Dr. Vegapunk. Then Bonnie starts attacking Kizaru using his devil fruit. But Kizaru easily evaded the attack and said that, Please don't make me hurt more old friends than I have to for this mission. After missing her attacks, Kizaru attacked as Boney and sent her flying. Then Frankie also tries to attack Kizaru, but Kizaru disappears. In a stellar room, Dr. Vegapunk successfully cracked the code. And while celebrating, Kizaru appears. Your escape plan has failed, Vegapunk. I'm afraid your dream robot is far out of reach after what I did, Kizaru said. Everyone was shocked upon seeing Kizaru. Kizaru mentioned that it's not an easy mission for him to kill Vegapunk. Then, while talking, Luffy appears in his gear, fifth form and enlarged body. He grabs Kizaru. Everyone was shocked to see Luffy with his huge body. Kizaru also was shocked to see Luffy in this form. Luffy stated that he was blown far away, and he have to cross the barrier twice. Then while this commotions are happening, the relic robot's eyes suddenly glows. While grabbing Kizaru, Luffy spin his arms very fast and throws Kizaru far away. Kizaru almost thrown to the ocean, but luckily avoided it. Using his power, he make himself into lights and flew back to Luffy, as if nothing happened. With this, Kizaru was able to make a clone from this lights and pull out a sword in a form of light. He started to attack Luffy with this. Luffy was gazed by this sword and causing him to bleed. Luffy attacks back, but this are only clones. 
Luffy runs and escapes in the process. Kizaru clones were arranged in a single line. Luffy suddenly attacks those clones who are in single line and destroying them in an instant. But the real Kizaru returns back to Vegapunk's location. Kizaru grabs Usopp but couldn't find Vegapunk. We saw that Dr. Vegapunk and others went down to rescue Boney and to reprogram the order from the pacifistas. Luffy, in his shocking face and voice, screamed, Apple Gramps, don't go down. You're going to get yourself killed. Kizaru saw them and uses his laser attack to Vegapunk. Luffy saw it and received the attack directly. Luffy's eyes was blinded by the lights from Kizaru's attack. Then we saw Vegapunk and his group going down. With them, we saw Frankie and Sanji. Then the battle of Kizaru and Luffy continues. I'm afraid I've got a job to do and I can't finish with it. We keep on playing around, Kizaru said. His voice clearly shows that he is starting to get exhausted from fighting with Luffy. Luffy just smiled and said that it is his job to make Kizaru busy and making him to fail. Then Kizaru again started to flee, but Luffy chases him. Kizatu saw Vegapunk and shoots again the laser. He almost got him with this attack. Luffy then starts to, to build up his muscle and about to attack Kizaru. Luffy throws his attack towards Kizaru, and Kizaru also prepares his attack. Luffy evaded Kizaru's attack, but Luffy's attack connected to Kizaru's head. We saw some black lightning in this attacks. Kizaru was directly hit and he knows this is bad for him. Then, in an unfortunate circumstances, Luffy started to shrink and started to turn back to normal. Both of them were blown away in separate directions. Then with this we saw both of them lying on the ground and looks like cannot continue the battle. We saw Kizaru holding his head and in his weak voice that he needed time to move again. But we saw Luffy's exhausted body. What will happen to Straw Hats? Now that Luffy is unable to fight and Saint Saturn is already there and the fleets of the Marines. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. For more anime content, subscribe to the channel. That's it for today. Peace out.